Hi guys, Alex here, and today we're gonna to be reacting to Foodie Beauty's new video, which is called Instant Pot Roast Beef Dinner, and I am super excited. Uh, yesterday, uh, two days ago, she put out a video called Something's Not Right, where she describes that she's having some issues with her digestion, with going to the bathroom and things like that. And she wrote in a pinned comment to some of the responses to the video. So she said this, just browsing the comments and thank you so much to those leaving well wishes. I see some that are blaming my issue on obesity and dietary choices. I do have to say she's talking about digestion in the video. It is a TMI, you know, loose stools and things like that. It's going to have a lot to do with your dietary choices. No, because what goes in affects what goes out, right? While I acknowledge and am fully aware that obesity and poor dietary choices can cause a myriad of health issues, blaming every ailment on obesity as being the cause is dangerous as it can lead to misdiagnosis. Well, yeah, you need to see a doctor about it, right? I think, I don't think that anyone is arguing that. I think they're just saying that it's highly likely that when it comes to having problems with things going out, it's going to have a lot to do with the things going in. Like I just said, every person I know with digestive diseases is thin. Also, bacterial infections such as C. diff are not weight specific. While I do think that it is highly likely that it has to do with her dietary choices, I'm not a doctor, so I do believe that she needs to go ahead and see one, right? <laughs> so that's going to be my opinions on that. And I hope that she does get well soon. Let me know what you guys think in the comments down below and let's just get right into it. I mean, shall we? Hey guys, hey, hey guys, hey. All right, where is the intro, girl? I actually really liked her intro this year. It was nice. Welcome back to another Foodie Beauty video. All right, so today... What is with the uh, somber music? I am going to cook a homemade meal, and we're going to drive down a street here in Ottawa that is known to have tons of holiday decorations. I do think that Foodie Beauty's cooking looks pretty good, honestly. I've always thought about recreating one of her recipes, but I always know it's going to be worse than hers, right? Love the tree though. So I'm wondering if this year they'll do that. We're gonna go drive later and see that after dinner, actually before dinner. So a lot of you are probably wondering how I'm feeling today. I am feeling better going to the wash. Yes, after that video. I'm a lot less, but then again, I've been eating less and I have been very mindful of what I'm putting in my mouth. I am trying okay, to- Okay, that makes sense. Eat as many brat items as I can, just very bland food. The brat diet is a diet plan for people who suffer from upset stomach, diarrhea, and loose bowel movement. Brat stands for bananas, rice, applesauce, and toast. And these are the foods that you should eat for a period of 24 hours. This combination helps to reduce your amount of stool, which will give your digestive system a break. Not too much. Okay, thanks doc. Fiber, <laughs> I'm eating oatmeal with some blueberries. I'm gonna be picking up some groceries later, which will have some healthier food. I love food and instead of just going on this endless cycle, I'm spinning my wheels over and over trying to beat my, beat this and just completely um, fail. So this clip is from June of 2020. I feel bad about myself every time. I'm just gonna succumb to it and do my best to work the healthy around me. I don't think that's ever a good idea. So at that time she was saying, uh, like she just said, she was going to succumb, which is never a good idea, of course, when it comes to an addiction. And then she said that she was going to eat healthy, basically off camera, which I mean, how did that really work out, girl? It didn't. At least until I can figure out what's going on with my digestive system and until I can feel a bit better. So that okay. being said, to take proactive action on my own for now, besides eating a healthier diet, I am also taking a probiotic. And the one I'm using right now is Mary Ruth's probiotic and turmeric. Right. Uh, I did purchase this before. However, I wasn't taking it consistently. So now I am going to- I've always heard that gut health is super important. So you should be taking a probiotic. I personally don't take one. Um, 
I just don't feel like I need one. Be taking it consistently in hopes that it will help with my gut microbiome, as they say. All right, so let's get into this video. And without further ado, let's get to, let's get to. Well, a little bit after I did my intro, back to spending time in the bathroom. So I haven't eaten anything bad. Now I know it will take time. Yeah, it is going to take quite a while, especially to get your gut in order when it comes to taking the probiotics. And I know that she has been um, eating that yogurt. So that's a good step as well. To get better. It doesn't just happen like in a couple days of eating healthier. I have a feeling it might be some kind of bacterial problem. Well, this is what, years of damage? You know, it's not just like you ate something bad. Hopefully not C. diff or something, but Pete has said that he's starting to go to the washroom more and it's a bit looser. So I know TMI, but I'm not exactly sure what causes C. diff, but I know that you can get it from being around someone who does have it. A lot of people catch it in hospitals or nursing homes. There's not really any, you know, non-TMI way to talk about your poop, so. Hi, sweetie. No, I don't think so. You had a treat. Yes. You make me feel so very happy. I'll keep you guys updated once I know more. <laughs> All right. So sometimes I feel good. Sometimes I don't. But I'm going to do the best I can. Jeez, BBJ. Thanks for washing your face on camera. You. <laughs> yeah, they are annoying. Minions are just oversaturated. Doing that a little. Yeah, I think that minions are oversaturated. But. The reason why they keep making Minions movies is because they keep making a ton of money and kids love the Minions. So Chantal and Pete did do a little drive along where they checked out a neighborhood in Ottawa that had a lot of lights. Grocery haul. And now we're on to the grocery haul, right? To show you what I got. So, got some cranberries. I'm going to make a cranberry sauce, some turkey later this week. Okay, what do you guys think about cranberry on turkey? I know that's like a Thanksgiving tradition for some. It has never been for my family. I don't. It doesn't sound appealing to me. My What's eggs, on? some of them are cracked. Uh, oh, hmm. no. All right. Oh, yeah, well. Be careful when you pack the eggs. Happens. Got some eggs. Eggs. I never run out of bags. <laughs> Which we need them for the litter. Got some green onions. I'm gonna put use them for All dinner right. tonight. Light, forty percent less fat, mild cheddar. Oh no, I don't think that she should. She's always said that she had a problem with cheese. I know that she said in the past that she ate a ton of cheese and had to go to the ER because her digestive issues were that bad. So I think at this point she should probably just stay away from cheese. That's just my opinion. I work for now. Non-hydrogenated omega-3 blue menu means it's a bit healthier. Margarine. I just like the taste of margarine more than butter. Mm. Another mm -hmm. Activia dairy-free yogurt. Um, has probiotics. It's okay. actually really delicious. So that's why I like it. Some ginger. That's the one with uh, Jamie Lee Curtis on the commercial, right? I think they do uh, tout that it helps your digestive system. Kombucha. The ginger is good for your tummy. And so is kombucha, fermented food, which has natural probiotics. So I'm going to be making a soup, tomato rice. So for this, you need some tomato juice. I do have diced tomatoes already. I'm running out of space. Oh, I didn't realize that her video is actually like backwards. See, when you see like letters, you can actually see that. That's a bit strange because she doesn't usually film like that. Very quickly. <laughs> uh, some coconut water, which is really good for natural electrolytes. Yeah, electrolytes. Vegetable broth. They didn't have any of the chicken for the no name. This was like less than a dollar. So um, I'm going to put that in my soup. All right. The beef stew. Look at BB I got... Oh, they gave me two of them. I only wanted one. Oh, they gave me three. Oh, wow. 
So I have thought uh, when she did mention C. diff that she possibly got it from her cat, from having them on the counter all the time, and the possibility of fecal matter, you know, just being on the camera and it, I mean, being on the counter and it going into her mouth. So I did take a time to look it up and it does say that it is low risk, um, but the risk can't be counted out according to research. So it is possible, although low risk. But that was my first thought when I thought about that because she doesn't spend time in hospital environments or anything like that. Not recently, at least. Because Pete and I are gonna have like a little, gonna make a little holiday meal for you guys. Okay, well, I know who I'm gonna give give some to. Who? And turkey rice soup is actually good. The fans want to know. Do have a big wow. That's a big thing. Big thing of I picked them. I ordered them online and picked them up. So this is unsalted tops crackers. Oh, those are like saltines. I these just settle. I don't know. You know how like they saltines and ginger ale and um chicken noodle soup yep to eat plain crackers and ginger ale and stuff so okay. it actually does maybe it's psychosomatic but the saltine crackers help settle my stomach um yeah they're easy less to digest salt and a uh, gluten-free turkey mix not sure what that is some thyme some sage some thyme some granny smith apples organic Apples, the non-organic room. I love Granny Smith apples. Those are the best apples, in my opinion. <laughs> a little bit sour, a little bit crunchy. It's just as expensive, so... Yeah, they're expensive apples. <laughs> so I'm going to make an applesauce. Yeah. I love homemade applesauce, and it's so easy. What is this? Okay, applesauce is really good. We saw that in the brat diet. That was one of the uh, letters. Oh. I'm not the hugest fan of applesauce. I mean, mm. Mm. French style green beans. Hi, Sam. Hi, Sam. What makes it French style? Hi, Sam. I couldn't tell you. Oh my goodness, the chair. <laughs> A lot of things plugged in. I know that she mentioned in her previous video that she got a new Galaxy phone, which I thought her iPhone was new, but I guess not. Not that it really matters. I guess maybe that could explain why it's backwards. Move, Sam. But I uh, changed it the right way. Some popping corn. Plain. I have a popcorn machine which works really well. I need the juice and zest of an orange for my cranberry sauce. Bananas, okay. which need to ripen, but they're good for the brat diet. I'm not eating just- Got a little bit of spots on there, right? Got to get a little bit of spots. That's what Freely always used to say. The brat diet, because honestly, no matter how I'm feeling, I'll go crazy if I eat just that kind of food. Um, Sam. <sighs> yeah. Hi, Sam. <laughs> and then I feel like tomorrow we're going to get like some sort of McDonald's mukbang or Popeye's or Chick-fil-A. It doesn't really matter. Well, not Chick-fil-A because it's not in Canada, but it, it doesn't matter. What do you want to do? 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 Hey? What do you want to do? Excuse me, Sam. You're so cute. You guys want to be, they always want to be around 24-7. So, got some yogurt. Yeah, that is pets for you. That's my dogs. They're on the bed right now. I have to make sure they're nice and comfortable before I film because it's like, then they're nice and comfortable and they're not like out barking in the living room or something. Greek yogurt, 2% milk fat. So not high, high in fat. Sometimes yogurt could go up to like 15. So, or 14, oh no. I think I saw. This is key lime, my favorite. I have been liking the Chobani Greek yogurt recently. I, don't, I didn't really look at how much fat was in it, just the calories, but it was on sale for 10 for 10, which is really good. 
some celery, some lemon. That used to be like expensive, I think, if I recall. I love the smell of lemon. Hmm. Really brightens flavors up. What are you doing, Sam? Oh my god. <laughs> see? I told you. I can't even see. Hey guys. <laughs> Pete's just gonna bring BB Jeans on the couch. <laughs> he looks so sad. Oh, he can come back after I cook. I gotta wipe the counter down and then. <laughs> oh, he reminds me of like the My Neighbor Totoro cat. <laughs> okay, guys. So, just a chunky. Start cooking. I'm making a roast with oven roasted potatoes. Okay, I'm actually like super excited to see her cook. Like I said, uh, usually it looks pretty good. Roast and carrots and some gravy and some Yorkshire pudding. Okay, so I'm about to put- What is Yorkshire pudding? I'm excited to see. These babies in a 400 degree oven. They're just uh, cut up potatoes and carrots and some green onion and a bit of salt and pepper. I'm not gonna season these too heavily. The green onion will do wonders. Just watch. So we're just oh, having a eye of round oven roast. I weighed this, it's 1.8 pounds. So it's a small roast, which is perfect just for both of us. As you can see, it's a very lean cut of meat, not much fat. So, which is also good for us. <laughs> All right, guys, so I'm gonna prepare my roast. My veggies are cooking. I'm gonna stir them in a minute. Ooh, that looks like a big old chunker of meat, doesn't it? What I'm gonna do is use this eye of round. Now, eye of round is one of the toughest and leanest cuts of meat. It is from the cow's leg, which those muscles get used more, so that's why. But using it in the Instapot, it can become tender and flavorful. So why not use a cheaper cut of meat if you're going to use the Instapot? Oh, okay. Does that, um, does the Instapot, I've been thinking about getting one of those, but I'm not totally sure. Is it able to tenderize it a lot faster than, because I know like with certain cuts of meat, you have to leave them, you know, soaking overnight or something, and or maybe in like a traditional crock pot or things like that for them to tenderize which will make it tender anyway. So this is my first time cooking the roast in the Instant Pot. I'm not sure. I've checked out a few different recipes. They all say different cooking times and things like that and use a bigger roast. This is a smaller roast, so we'll see. What I'm going to do, I've used a paper towel to pat it dry and I'm just going to put some, season it with some salt and pepper. We're going to be putting some roast gravy on this so we don't need to season it be careful handling that raw meat i just have to say that i've been super paranoid about handling my raw meat recently just super paranoid and in general and washing my hands like so much too too well with different flavors sanitizing right, so I'm just gonna rub it like you would like a dry rub um and yes wash my hands very well after okay anytime i know anytime people see people touching meat they probably cringe and wonder if they're washing their hands well <laughs> so we're gonna let this sit for 15 minutes with the salt and mm -hmm. everything and i'll be right back so what i'm going to be using in the instapot for the the right. beef is what is this about a cup of beef bouillon which i mix with water this is three cups i'm just preparing in case i need more some Bragg's liquid seasoning. You can use soy sauce and a bay leaf. Bay leaf. And a pinch of rosemary. Oh, okay. All right, so I got the instant pot. I wasn't sure what that was. I'm on saute. And I'm going to saute this in some olive oil on either side just to brown it. I actually want to see this. Like, what makes it different than like a traditional crock pot? It looks like it's a bit hotter, right? Maybe, I don't know three minutes per side or so. Boiling. So it's nice and brown, basically. So both sides are getting browned after that. I'm going to put it on a plate and let it rest while I prepare the rest. See all those brown bits? They need to be deglazed. So I've turned it off, the uh, saute off. Let's see here. That's about good, I think. I guess you can do whatever you would do in a like traditional pan on a traditional stove. Is that the point? And now we're just going to use a spoon and deglaze the bottom. I'm using a wooden spoon so I don't ruin my pot. Of course. Make sure all the bits are off the bottom or it will burn. 
Oh we'll no, the first. wooden spoon. Amy's life journey, wooden spoon. Signal. <laughs> Not All right, so I've added the bay leaves and cut, the rosemary cut, cut. Okay. for deglazing and a little bit of the brags. Again, you can use soy sauce. And now... That just looks like a leaf. I'm going to put the steamer rack in there. Oh. And we're going to put the roast back in. It's almost in. like it's an air fryer and a like stove top. Seal it up. And make sure it's set to venting ceiling, not venting. Ceiling. <laughs> All right, I think that's done properly. Okay, now I'm gonna put it on Ooh, pressure I... cook. On Ooh, I... low pressure for five minutes, and then we're gonna let it um, slow release for about forty. And that's it. So thanks to you guys letting me know. The last time I used my pressure cooker, which was the okay. first time. Oh, it's pressure cooking. I'm, I have the little valve set to venting, <laughs> not sealing. So, but somehow it's still cooked, but just not as well. So I'm gonna make these mm -hmm. Yorkshire puddings from Yorkshire, England. Uh, I am super confused on what this is. Um, is that like spotted dick? You just have to heat them for four minutes on a 400 I always laugh at that. degree oven. See how these do. I don't know. I just love having Yorkshire pudding with a roast. And I usually make it from a package. <laughs> Speaking of package, you could make a gravy with the drippings, but I'm going to use this roast gravy. So go in the laser route with that. Yay, it's sealed. There's no noise. Oh, no. I feel like packaged gravy. Mm. Well, that didn't work. It's not going to taste any good. And I'm trying it again. Oh no, what happened? It was like hard and still very bloody. So I'm trying to pressure cook it on high now for 10 more minutes and see what happens. I'm having a green apple in the meantime because I'm hungry, which is good, but I'm not like really hungry. But I decided against the Yorkshire pudding because just thinking about it, even just thinking about it hurts my tummy. So that mm. I'm going to save them for whenever I'm feeling a bit better. All right, that's a good idea. I don't know if like roast is part of the, is the R and brat diet, but I guess we'll see her update. So, <laughs> those meat and veggies. Mm. I'm peeling the skin mm. off because mm. the skin is actually an insoluble fiber. Oh no. Which is harder to digest, apparently. So, just eating the flesh, baby. Well, right. it looks juicy and it cut very easily, but I have a good knife. So we're going to see how it is. It, it is a tougher cut of meat. It looks kind of purple. I think next time I'll go with a leaner cut, um, a more tender cut in the future. I like the beef that just shreds apart. She got what, the legs? I'm not sure what cut of meat that would legs. be. If you guys know, let me know. So I'm still going to eat this. Looks good. And let's eat. I want to try Wagyu. I heard that's really good. Look at that. Is that all cat hair? Okay, here it is. Okay. Let's try the carrot. Okay, well, this is definitely a step up from her usual mukbangs, that's for sure. Mm. Good and sweet. And she cooked at home. So, I have to break out the round of applause for Sean's Hall here. Mm. That's good. Subtle green onion flavor. Beef is, is pretty tender. I actually Some really gravy. enjoy this video. Roast gravy. Beat a bite. Mm. Of course, got to get that gravy in there, girl. I think that would have tasted so much better if you made it from the from the drippings and, you know... Instead it's of good. it probably tastes like Boston Market. It's a tougher cut of beef. Yeah. Right, Pete's, you scared. But it's still pretty good, right? Yeah. So. Mm -hmm. 
I was looking at Pete's Twitter the other day and just the thing that he, things that he likes on there, it's all like furry, naked things, drawings. I guess that's it. I guess whatever floats your boat. <laughs> Today's more of a vlog style than a mukbang style. I'm going to go join Pete. Enjoy my I dinner. like it more. I do. I just, she gets a lot more views when she does the mukbang. So I think that's why she does gravitate towards that rather than the vlog style videos, which don't get as many views or as much attention. We know that the last, I believe the last mukbang she put up was the one where she talked about the doll. It's pretty outrageous, but I think that she wanted to get people talking about it and it worked in that kind of way. If I'm hungry later, depends how late I stay up. I have some popcorn. But it was mostly negative chatter, right? Popcorn in my machine. I just put a little bit of melted margarine on it and uh, a little bit of salt. So, but anyways, guys, thank you for watching my video today. I really appreciate it. And I will see you in the next one. Bye, guys. All right, you guys, let me know what you think of the video in the comments down below. Like I said in the beginning of the video, I think that... It definitely has a lot to do. Her digestive problems obviously have a lot to do with her dietary choices. I mean, that's just pretty obvious. No, let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. And I will, of course, catch you guys in the, the next one. Bye, guys.